The Project Japan. A simple deep sea submersible that successfully captured clear images at a depth of 8,000 meters. A next generation variable train platform screen door that changes where it opens according to train types. A hydrogen energy usage system that converts surplus renewable energy to hydrogen as needed to generate electricity. These newly developed solutions share a common key phrase, open innovation. Uh, open innovation becomes an ability to look at bigger problems and solve them together. We are going to drive innovation in areas such as operational structure, human resources and technology. Through collaboration extending across organizational boundaries, open innovation is expected to give birth to new value and services. One company taking on that challenge is major construction firm Shimizu which recently opened a new hub for open innovation called Smart Innovation Ecosystem Novare. We explore the group's initiatives to generate new value transcending the confines of construction. With breathtaking advancements in technology, Japanese industry is in the midst of a fundamental structural shift. No longer able to apply past experiences of success, Japanese companies recognize the urgent need to update their organizations by employing new methods. Against the backdrop of these tumultuous times, a concept called open innovation is attracting attention as one approach to drive innovation. We spoke with Jean-Marc Frangos, who has long been involved in digital transformation at a British telecom operator and serves as an advisor to various companies. When Henry Chesbro coined the term 20 years ago at Berkeley, um, he considered uh, open innovation to be a little different because before open innovation, companies were working in R&D labs. You know, it was quite secret and it was quite uh, isolated from the rest of the world. Uh, in the next phase, open innovation became an ability to open up the boundaries of the organization and work with external partners, for example, with academia, for example, with startups. So uh, open innovation has seen an evolution over the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. And more recently, it has become uh, an ability for companies to work as part of an ecosystem. And instead of solving just the problem of the next product or the next development, uh, open innovation becomes an ability to look at bigger problems. Why are Japanese companies starting to focus on open innovation? In the last 10 years, I would say Japanese companies have paid a lot more attention to open innovation. In fact, they have opened more open innovation outposts in Silicon Valley than companies from any other countries. So as the uh, evolution of innovation, of corporate innovation took place, uh, Japanese companies really embraced the concept of open innovation. Traditionally, Japanese companies were very strong at R&D, but the new idea of open innovation is something that Japanese companies are now doubling down on and using a lot more uh, of their energy and attention to. In 2024, Shimizu opened Smart Innovation Ecosystem Novare, a hub for open innovation covering an area of 32,200 square meters in Tokyo's Shiomi district. In 2019, we formulated a long-term vision to be realized by 2030. It's named Shimizu Vision 2030, and our aim is to become a smart innovation company. It puts forth our idea of the company we want to be by 2030, of creating value ahead of its time. We built this facility called Novare as the center to realize that vision. Novare means to make new in Latin. They say the plan is to propose a new direction for the construction industry. We have been involved in construction for 220 years. 
Our business structure can be described as contract-based. And what we want to do is engage in activities beyond that, to go beyond construction. And from here at Novare, we hope to drive innovation with that mindset. How exactly is the new open innovation hub Novare structured? At the core are five adjacent facilities. What roles do they play? We spoke with the designer of Novare, Toshiyuki Makizumi. We are going back to our origins as a construction company, of meeting the expectations of society and our customers, while also looking beyond the confines of the conventional construction industry to forge a new future with an open mind. We also aspire to develop technologies demanded of the times and talent resilient to the changes in the world. To carry out those activities, Novare is comprised of five facilities with differing purposes. Novare is made up of independent but collaborating facilities transcending conventional frameworks. What concept underlines these facilities? We started from the idea that construction still offers an abundance of opportunities. This isn't a showroom for the technologies of finished products, but rather a place to demonstrate technologies we believe offer new possibilities. For example, buildings in the future won't simply be boxes or containers, but rather partners in our activities. That's our idea. As society becomes increasingly information-based, we want to meet personal needs and optimize the whole. We've integrated those concepts in Novare. Epitomizing the idea of the buildings themselves meeting personal needs are the numerous lights installed on the ceilings. POE lighting is lighting connected to LAN cables. In addition to supplying electricity, LAN cables can also transmit information at the same time, allowing individual control and connection to various devices such as sensors, speakers and microphones, and making it possible for buildings to be utilized as a neural system. Also seen throughout Novare is the concept of meeting the personal needs of multiple users. Here, location information is acquired through tags, with the system learning about individual preferences. Through it, floor fans set up every one square meter provide a personalized air conditioning environment for each individual, while also conserving energy for the entire building. These fans are controlled using technologies from other fields that aren't typically used in construction, such as lighting effects, rack lighting, and server racks. In addition to exploring the possibilities of buildings themselves, there are other features designed to encourage innovation. In our innovation process, we follow the four steps of discover, define, refine and scale and repeat the process again starting with discover. And these four processes are also applied to the spatial structure of the buildings. Their innovation process is comprised of four key phases. Discover to unearth new possibilities from the perspective of society and customers. Define to set hypotheses for business models and technologies. Refine to verify and substantiate hypotheses through small-scale implementation. And scale to evaluate the results of implementation and to carry out commercialization or broad deployment of technologies. The blending of these four processes with ideas and expertise inside and outside the company makes this hub not only an integrated facility but also a center for innovation. On this day, an event is being held at Novare in collaboration with university students in architecture with the aim of promoting innovation in human resource development. They say the catalyst for the event was a certain frustration that the students felt while learning about the subject. I'm a master's candidate in architecture at the University of Tokyo, and I really think about how much meaning the designs and drawings I make there have. I've started thinking that unless they're actually built, it's meaningless. 
My initial reason for participating came from my desire to build a place together with other students to realize our own ideas. Yuta Nihei and other students were seeking a place where they could apply what they learned at university in society. Through an acquaintance, they reached out to Novare. This is about the issues faced by architecture students. As they themselves have pointed out, they've only learned how to draw blueprints and designs, but haven't really been able to gain experience in actually building things. Novare is truly about proving concepts, a place where you can build things and put them into practice. So it really aligns with the challenges they're facing, and that's why we decided to become a partner. At the same time, in the fields of the environment and energy, they're also engaging in a renewable energy business to achieve decarbonization. We developed a system called Hydrocubic to store electricity generated from renewable energy sources in the form of hydrogen. The hydrogen can be converted back into electricity or used as it is. That's the kind of system we're currently operating. We want to carry out initiatives like this at Novare as well. Shimizu envisions a future for the world forged through open innovation. It underscores the company's commitment to going beyond construction to realize sustainable growth. We hope that the establishment of a facility like this will liberate the hearts and minds of the employees, that they'll believe in what Shimizu can accomplish, and that it will give birth to something brand new. It's been built from the ground up to create innovations collaboratively with our, you know, customers and their customers. So whatever comes out of Novare will be uh, inclusive, uh, resilient and sustainable. We are starting from the idea that we need to fully explore the needs of our customers and society at large through this facility, through Novare. We want to spark all kinds of innovation. Shimizu's open innovation initiatives are providing a new blueprint for society and laying the foundation for the next century and beyond.